All right, let's jump right into it because we're asking a question today that's, well, it's a little spicy. Is getting into cybersecurity right now actually a waste of your time? Now that quote you see, that's straight from the source that kicked off this whole discussion. It's a pretty bold thing to say, right? I mean, if you're deep in your studies or already in the field, that probably stings a little. So where is a comment like that even coming from? The source uses a very specific word to describe the job market, cooked. And yeah, that basically means it's overwhelmed, totally saturated. So the real question is, what's turning up the heat? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna break down. Okay, so to figure out where this whole industry is headed, we first have to get a really honest look at where it is right now. And believe me, the warning signs, they're already flashing. You just have to know what you're looking for. And here is problem number one, and it's a big one. The market is just flooded. You've got way, way more people trying to break into cybersecurity than there are actual jobs available, especially for entry-level folks. But, and this is really the key, this isn't just a normal market cycle. No, there's something much, much bigger at play here. And that something bigger? It's a fundamental tectonic shift in technology. We are officially entering the era of agentic AI, and it is about to completely change how we think about tech jobs, and security jobs are right in the crosshairs. To really wrap your head around just how big this change is, think about this analogy, the dark factory. Picture a massive factory, but the lights are off. Why? Because there are no people inside. It's just robots working around the clock, building everything on their own. Now, what happens when you apply that exact same concept to our digital world? So this is the key difference you've got to understand. We're all used to what we're calling old AI, right? Like ChatGPT. You ask it a question, it gives you back an answer. But this new AI, this agentic AI, is a whole different animal. You don't ask it a question, you give it a goal. And then it goes off and figures out all the steps to achieve that goal all on its own. Let me make that super clear. You could say to an AI agent, hey, my network is under attack from this IP address. The old AI would give you a list of commands to run. An AI agent, on the other hand, goes in, finds the threat, writes and applies the firewall rule to block it, and then reports back, problem solved. It's not an advisor, it's a doer. And right there, that's where the alarm bells really start ringing for the job market. Because once you have an AI that can do things independently, many of those traditional task-based jobs in cybersecurity are suddenly, well, they're on the chopping block. I mean, just think about some of these classic security roles. The firewall analyst who spends all day sifting through logs, the antivirus engineer who manages endpoint clients, the identity analyst who's constantly setting user permissions. These are all critical functions, but they are also highly repetitive and task-oriented, which makes them prime candidates for automation. So you could just deploy one single AI agent, and its entire existence is to just watch the firewall logs 24-7. It identifies threats and writes new rules on the fly, faster than any human team could even dream of. Then, you spin up another agent. Its mission? To manage every single endpoint in your entire organization. It's threat hunting on every laptop, every server, all at the same time, continuously. And why stop there? You have another one whose sole purpose is to manage all your identity policies, dynamically updating permissions based on risk. You see where this is going, don't you? You're essentially building a team of autonomous AI agents to do the work that today takes a whole room full of people. But listen, this is not all doom and gloom. It's not about the end of security jobs. It's about a massive shift. Because every time we have a huge leap in technology, some jobs fade away, but new, often more interesting jobs are created, and the big one coming our way is the AI operations engineer. Let's go back to that dark factory for a second. The robots are doing all the hands-on work, sure, but somebody has to be in the control room. Somebody has to tell the robots what to build, make sure they're running properly, and oversee the whole operation. That's the new job. You're no longer working on the assembly line, you're the one running the entire factory. So what does this person actually do all day? Well, for starters, you're the one who actually deploys these AI agents. You point them at the systems they need to protect. Then, you refine their jobs. You tell one agent, you're the firewall expert, and another, you own identity. You're constantly working to make them more accurate, and ultimately, you are the architect and maintainer of this entire automated defense system. So, the million-dollar question, how do you get ready for this future? Because this isn't just a fun theory. This is about a very real, actionable strategy to keep your career not just relevant, but essential for years to come. And the timeline here is tight. According to the source, we are not talking about something that's a decade away. 
This shift is starting right now, and over the next three to five years, this is expected to become the new normal. This is the critical window. This is the time to adapt. So here's the bottom line, your main takeaway. Your focus shouldn't be on learning how to build these giant AI models from scratch. That's not the game for most of us. The real value, the skill that's going to be in high demand, is learning how to deploy the AI we already have, how to operationalize it for specific security tasks, and how to be the engineer who manages that whole automated system. And that leaves us with one last, really fascinating thought to chew on. As the defenders shift to operating these AI agents, the attackers, well, they're going to shift their focus too. So the next frontier in cybersecurity might not be about hacking networks or servers. It might just be about hacking the AI that's protecting them. And what does that even look like? Now that's something to think about.